Hi Leo, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your weekly reading for the 5th through the 11th of December, 2021. I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving and I hope you guys have had a good week. I do wanna take just a quick second, Leo, to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate for everyone. If you find that that's your situation, I encourage you to check your other signs and placements. See if those readings may resonate just a little better. Also, keep in mind, energies can reverse or flip-flop. That's not at all unusual in a general reading. Um, and also, if you'd like a personal reading, the directions are in the box beneath the video. So, let's get started, guys. Spirit, can I have the energy of Leo? Leo. Okay, so Leo, we start out with the King of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups in the reverse and the Knight of Swords. Okay. All right, so Leo, I do feel that there is something here that um, you're, you're unable to walk away from. You've tried. You've tried. Um, it's a lot of thinking a lot of intellectual energy here for you with um this air energy um which is <laughs> for a fire sign boy that can really cause a flame you know you mix air and and fire but i feel like um with the knight of swords that you know you're kind of in a decision making mode here i feel like there's something you've tried to walk away from you haven't quite been able to do that um, you're being very intellectual and very strategic in the way you're approaching this subject, though. Um, and I think you're trying to make a head over heart decision. So you're not, you're not being emotional about this. You're being very, very logical, very, um, or at least you're attempting to. But there, it, it almost feels to me like there's a situation that's trying to transform in some way and you're not allowing it to um, in some manner. So, you know, I, I, there, there's a situation that you just, you're not, with the Eight of Cups, you're not really able to walk away from it and it's, therefore it's not transforming. Um, but I feel like there's something that is not completely fulfilling to you in this situation. So I see you being strategic and I see you kind of, you know, having a decision, but maybe avoiding the decision a little bit. Let's see who you are connecting with. All right, we have the Page of Cups. Okay, we have the Ace of Cups. And we have the Six of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so somebody else here was trying to move away and was unable to do so. So you're dealing with somebody here that both of you have kind of tried to move away from a situation um, and can't really do it. Um, this person... This person might be feeling a little bit stuck, um, but they want, a, they want a new beginning with you, with this Ace of Cups, and they do have love for you. I mean, there's a lot of love here. So this person is taking an exact opposite approach. This person is taking a, a very loving, you know, from the heart approach, you're taking a very logical approach. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's very interesting. You're, you're kind of on different ends of the spectrum as to how you're approaching this. Let's see the energy of the connection. Five of pentacles. Yeah, loss. So you may not be together right now. You might be coming back around. Sometimes the eight of cups is, um coming back around after having walked away. If that's the case, Leo, 
this person does want a new beginning because they do love you. Let's see, because this is all about loss. There's a feeling of loss here and feelings of abandonment, sadness. Um, what's directly affecting this connection? Two of Pentacles, there's that choice again. And for the person you're connected with, it's the ending. The Hierophant in reverse. There's a, um, the ending of a commitment or a lack of commitment. Um, for you, Leo, I see you kind of weighing the pros and cons here of this decision, though. Um, definitely in a decision-making mode. You may be contemplating coming back around um, after having physically walked away, but emotionally you couldn't walk away from it. Let's see the um, outcome at the end of the week. The Three of Swords. A feeling disappointment, emotional pain. Hmm. Okay, let's see what we got going on here, Leo. Um, bottom of the deck is the Page of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so this is bad news. There was bad news. This is um, the underlying energy here. So, so the bad news is why we have this feeling of loss, this feeling of, you know, sadness, this disappointment. So the bad news would have been something to do with a breakup. Somebody, somebody walked away. I think you may be contemplating coming back around because you may have physically walked away, but if you did, Leo, you haven't emotionally walked away because you may have tried, but you can't. This person that you're dealing with is feeling stuck, and they want to extend love to you. They want a new beginning. Okay, so why is the King of Swords here? Eight of rods reversed and the four of swords. Yeah, pulled, pulled back. You may feel blocked. You may have gotten blocked. Um, you may have blocked this person. So somebody got blocked here. Um, there's no communication though. So I don't feel like you're communicating with this person. And I do feel like you're trying to heal your energy right now. But I do see a lack of communication. I see you kind of being very logical here, very kind of, I won't say cold, but being cool, um, being strategic in how you're trying to handle things. Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? All right, we have the Moon in reverse. Five of Swords reversed, and there's that Page of Wands in reverse again. So, so there was some bad news that came out, something that had been hidden. Um, it could also be a lack of communication. The lack of communication would have been because there was um, there was a conflict here. The conflict is over, but unfortunately, it ended because of not communicating at all. Um, it ended in a in non-communication. With the moon in reverse, I feel like you have realized here, you've realized that you you can't completely let this person go. Why is the Knight of Swords here? At least not on a heart level. Six of Coins and the Five of Cups reverse. So, you are trying to make a decision about whether or not to come back around with this person. Um, some of you may be trying to make a decision about where to, to give your energy. For some of you, it could be with regard to, you know, friends, family, or um, even another person, um, but not everybody. Um, for others of you, or, or to this person, um, but others of you, you may be 
trying to balance out this situation, find balance within yourself. And I do feel like you are now, whereas in the past, when all of this occurred, when the conflict occurred, you were looking at all the problems within the connection. I think you're now looking at the love that's in the connection. So I think that you're trying to balance this out. You're trying to look at this from a more um, comprehensive view. You're understanding that there's some problems, but you also want to look at the love that's here. And perhaps it was a one-sided view in the past. So I think you are also deciding, Leo, do you want to, you know, come back around to, you know, this person? So I think you tried to walk away. You physically walked away, but emotionally you're still attached. And I can tell you for sure this person is. Why is the page of cups here? King of Cups in the reverse. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. And Page of Swords, they want to talk with you. Yeah, they're holding back their emotions, but they definitely have emotions for you. They have love for you. Um, I think that their, their heart is kind of, they're holding it back. They're holding back their emotions. They're also, um, you know, spying on you. They're, they're looking at your social media or if... Um, if they're not blocked, they might be blocked. Um, but they're, they're trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, they're definitely trying to figure out what's going on. They're holding back their emotions, but they have a lot of emotions for you. And they do want to talk to you. Why well, is the Ace of Cups here? They want a new beginning. Yeah, Hierophant in reverse twice, the star in reverse. You, you're their, you're their hope. Um, you're their. <laughs> they, they put a lot of of um, effort into this. Well, I, I can't say effort. They, they put a lot of their hopes and dreams into the connection with you. Um, the ending of this connection um, was very difficult for this person. And I feel like um, they're, they're starting to give up hope of, of bringing this back around and having a, a, a new beginning. Yeah, they're, they're starting to give up hope. Why is the Six of Swords here in reverse? They do want a new beginning though, Leo. So if you're holding back because of, you know, that you don't want conflict with this person, or if you're holding back because you think they might reject you, I, I don't see that happening. Um, King of Swords in reverse and the Nine of Pentacles. Um, Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, yeah. See, you're coming out as the King of Swords over here, energy. They think you're very angry with them and that you want to be single. Um, they see you as wanting to be single. Um, and they're feeling stuck. They feel very stuck. I don't feel that they want to be single. I feel like they, they've tried to move forward. And I think that they, um, they see you as being angry. Yeah, and I feel like they want a new beginning, Leo, but they, they feel like, um, you know, they're giving up hope on that. Um, let's see why the Five of Pentacles. They definitely want communication. All right, King of Wands, that's you in your power there. And the Eight of Coins. Okay, so... So you're definitely, you're the, the primary factor here. You're the, you know that you can affect change in this connection, Leo. Um, but you also realize that it's going to, it's going to be work. So you're the one who's going to have to take the action here is what it looks like. Um, 
But if you do, if you take action, the person you're connected with, they will work at this. They're willing to work at this. Um, let's look at the what's directly affecting it. There's that Eight of Cups in reverse again. <laughs> You're trying to decide if you should come back around. Um, we also have the Tower and the Knight of Pentacles. So, so yeah, it, there's been a, what's directly affecting the connection is that this was a Tower moment for both of you. There was a weak foundation in this connection. So whatever happened here, it, it basically broke the this connection down because there was a weak foundation. Now the two of you have the opportunity to build it back on a stronger foundation. So you can build this back, Leo, if you choose to do so. Um, and I think that you have to empower yourself to do that. I think you're deciding, are you going to take action on this or not? I see that you would like to come back around. You haven't emotionally walked away from this, and I think you're deciding, you know, you're weighing the pros and cons of bringing this, you know, coming back around to this connection. Um, the person that you are connected with, I, I feel like, like I said, that the what's directly affecting them the most is this ending, and they feel that you're angry, they feel that you are not wanting to commit to the connection, they would like to bring stability back in and work on the connection, and they're willing to go very slowly. Um, let's get the outcome. Now, the outcome is for the end of the week. It doesn't mean forever. It's just for the end of the week. Um, but what I'm seeing, at least at the end of the week, is there's um, some disappointment at the end of the week. What do you trying to figure out which where spirit wants these cards hold on because they're right right by each other okay thank you all right so i do see disappointment at the end of the week um it is because there is going to still be um problems that are needing to be addressed and i feel like there may even be some outside um problems involved with this as well but, um, yeah, and I feel like both parties are st uh, kind of at a standoff. So both parties are still going to be standing their ground at the end of the week. But I do see that for you, again, we have this Two of Swords. And so you're still trying to make a decision here. Um, so there is going to be disappointment. Um, and for the person that you're connected with, however, they're going to begin to heal a little bit. They have the nine of swords in the reverse. So the person you're connected with, Leo, I do feel like they're going to begin to move past the disappointment just a little bit, or at least the anxiety of it. They're not going to be seated in that anxiety. They're going to begin to, you know, um, move past it, some of that. But both of you kind of standing your ground, not really moving forward, still processing this. Um, but at the bottom of the deck, we have the death card in reverse. This is indicating to me that this is not over, not by far. So, you know, it looks like there's something here that's in, you know, transition. And you're really in decision-making mode. But I'm going to tell you, your person, Leo, is... They're starting to give up on this coming back together. So you may want to keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to pull Oracle cards and see if there's any further clarification for you. All right, so for you, Leo, we have Express Your Love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Well, that's pretty clear. So I know you're weighing the pros and cons and trying to figure out what you should do. Spirit's saying go ahead and make the romantic gesture. For the person that you are connected with, it says it is safe for you to love. Open your heart 
to give and receive the highest energy of all. So we do know that your person has kind of closed their heart a little bit here because of the painful situation. And then for the connection itself, and this is absolutely beautiful, guys. It says forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So Leo and Cross Watcher, if you can forgive and allow yourselves to heal, um, you're going to just be heralding and bringing in this love. So this is beautiful. Um, I love the way Spirit has wrapped up the end of this with the oracles as well. Very clear. Okay. So I hope this has been helpful for you, Leo. If you would, go ahead and like and share the video. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. I would really appreciate it. And until, oh, if you'd like to drop a comment too, I do read all of them, so feel free to do so. And until I see you next week in the weeklies, namaste.